Hi, my name is Avanti Prahlad and I'm a product manager here at UB Interactive. Today we'll be giving a webinar on how to use common productivity tools with UB. The first thing that I'd like to go through today is actually how to use the annotation tool um, that comes with UB. It's a new feature, as many of you know. Um, and I'm just going to highlight a few um, uh, features of the annotation menu. Um, the first thing I wanted to go through is actually the whiteboarding feature. So open up UB menu and open up the annotation menu. And uh, right here is the whiteboarding um, feature. If you open that up, this basically allows you to write in free form. Save and quit your annotation, or just quit directly. So let's go ahead and quit. And that is a quick demonstration of the UB uh, whiteboarding function. Now, some of the reasons why you'd want to use the UB annotation menu is that it allows you to actually annotate over any content. So the two uh, things I'd like to show you right now is one, how do you annotate over your metro mode or, map or apps in metro mode. Uh, for example, um, here you can see that I'm in metro mode. I'm going to go ahead and open up Bing Maps and go ahead and open up my annotation menu. And as you can see, I'm able to annotate directly over the map. I'm going to hit the UV button again, save and quit my annotation. Again, it's saved under my pictures, UV screenshots. And you can also open up a web browser. Here you can see I've got a Wikipedia page article opened up. And I can go ahead directly over any browser content, save and quit, and it's as easy as that. Now, you don't have to use UB's annotation menu, of course. Uh, they, there are a lot of inbuilt annotation tools within some of the common applications that you used uh, for productivity. Uh, one of the common questions I have is whether you can annotate over a PDF and be able to save it. And in fact, you can do that. Uh, if you have Adobe Reader version 11.0, you can actually um, go ahead and navigate to this section here called Comments. And for Comments, if you select the pen tool under Drawing Markups, you'll be able to annotate right over your PDF. And what you can do is you can move and scroll through your document. And as you can see, the annotation is tagged to the content, so you don't lose it. And most importantly, you're able to save these annotations directly within the document that you intend to annotate. All you really need to do is hit save. save gives you the option to save your annotations in the PDF, and you're done. Similarly, um, inbuilt annotation tools exist in Microsoft Office suite, a suite of products, um, and this is available in Office 2013. So let's go ahead and go through a couple of these. So for example, let's open up a Word document. Here we have a Word document. And 
And if you'd like to use the inbuilt tool, all you need to do is go to the review tab, hit start inking, and you can select, as you can see, a pen color, pen size. You can even highlight right in your Word doc. <clears throat> when you're done, all you need to do is hit save, and your annotations are saved uh, directly in the Word document. So the next time you open up, you'll have your annotations there. Uh, same thing in PowerPoint. Uh, here I have a slide. If you navigate to review, start inking, and select the pen color, um, you're able to annotate directly onto your slides. You can do some highlighting if you want. And if you hit save, you save your annotation directly uh, in this file itself. Next time you open it up, you'll be able to do your annotations. And last but not least, in OneNote, the same feature exists but under a slightly different tab. So in OneNote, uh, the way that you can ink directly in your document is to go to the Draw tab. And what you want to make sure that Draw with Touch is enabled. Then you can select your brush size or brush color. And you'll be able to annotate directly within this document. And as with all the other apps, you can save uh, this file and your annotations um, will be uh, saved the next time you open up the same document. Now, the last thing that I want to go through is how to use some uh, project management uh, web applications uh, using UV. A lot of, uh, of our customers have asked us whether tools like LeanKit or Trello, Trello work with UV. Um, these web apps are actually not optimized uh, for touch input, but you can still use these applications in mouse mode. So what you need to do is open up the UV app, uh, menu um, and switch from touch to mouse. And this basically uh, means that UV is now simulating a mouse. And so as you can see, it's very easy to then move cards around. And um, similarly in Trello, let's just navigate, hit that tab, you can move cards around. You can open up cards. You can edit them. Close cards. And if you want, you could even use this annotation tool to annotate directly over these web applications. And that's about it. Thanks for joining us uh, for this webinar.